Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Fallen Sage. Where we are ready to go, actually. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of debugging to help fix everybody's levels and give everybody the weapons that they were supposed to have um, at the end of that uh, great big set of battles there. Because um, then Aura was like freaking level 70 after all that. I was like, oh my god, what the heck. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now that we are good to go, uh, we are making our way down to Zora's River so that I can complete the next secret dungeon. Um, and then from there, I think after that, um, we need to head to the Misery Mire because, you know, I'm not supposed to be on this side, so that's alright. Hello, Octorox. Let's just kill them in one shot, please. So if you'll notice, everybody has some, like, status effect now, because they all have their ultimate armor, and all of their ultimate armor gives them some kind of, you know, guaranteed state. So, now here's the part that sucks. In order to actually, um, access this dungeon, I actually need... Uh, Zeline to be in the party. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Zeline over top of uh, Anara. And then we can step in here. Note that we could not have actually accessed this until after that last dungeon. So you basically would have been stuck with both Zeline and Felonius in the party normally. That's why I added my debug cat. Hey Link, I see something in the water. We should go dive for it. Here we go. Into Zeline's dungeon. Um, yay. We are slowed on the screen because they didn't bother to change the speed of what you moved at after the uh, overworld so that's a thing yep I thought that was gonna happen because I am ridiculously slowed because they slow your speed on the overworld and then don't bother to change that on the uh, regular thing sometimes it just seems like they completely forget that here, you know, in the, not on the overworld anymore. That said, uh, this appears to be some kind of maze. So that's fun. A really long maze where I am slowed. Also, this music sounds familiar, but I cannot immediately remember from where. It's like Twilight Princess, but... It's like a remix of something from Twilight Princess. I'm not actually sure what track it is. It sounds familiar, but I don't immediately recall it. So. On Ganon's robe. Nice! See, I did not have Ganon's robe yet. So there's that. I do have Milk Barbagia, but I did not have the Ganon's robe yet. I was pretty sure that that hadn't dropped from the other bosses, so I hadn't given it to myself. I only gave myself the items that were supposed to have dropped from the actual, like, bosses. So... Yay, I love this, like, super slowness that I've got going on. It is really obnoxious, because you've also got these enemies who well, I'm gonna guess that if I touch will send me back to the beginning of the dungeon, much like Lear's dungeon did. I mean, I managed to make it through without much issue though, so there's that. Hello, land dwellers. Interesting how you can survive down here in this water. 
I don't actually know who this is, but your life is meaningless in the grand scheme of things. Why don't I make room for better matters? Alright, so we have Georg Talarmus again, it seems. Oh yeah, that's right. I gave myself these like healing things for whatever reason. Don't remember. Go ahead, Georg Monarch. That's interesting. Uh, Sharpstone. And poor Zeline over here has nothing. Um, however, I do have Zeline in the party at the moment, so let me actually go in and remove these healing abilities from Zelda. Because I don't need them when Zeline is already in the party, so I had to use a barrier stone as well, even though two of my characters already have barrier. The fact of the matter is that my healer Zeline does not. I would really prefer not to, uh, you know, lose that. <laughs> 11,000 damage. I love it. Spiral Blade, because it probably will deal more damage, because it always seems to. I don't know why the freaking ultimates don't deal nearly as much damage as the freaking non ultimates do. Like, what's the point in using the ultimate when the ultimates deal less or equal damage, you know? I don't get it. Whatever. It's interesting that I got Zeline's ultimate, but it didn't actually give me, uh, like, state status. Hmm. I guess Zeline's just... Ultimate armor just does not apply a status for whatever reason, unlike the others do. Hey, whatever. That's just the way the game is designed, so... I'm not the one who made the game, so... <laughs> also, I will probably be finishing this game... Uh, okay. <laughs> I will probably be finishing this game in this uh, recording session. I am the last of the great fairies. I go by granting ancient skills upon those that complete my tests. I hold in my power seven hidden powers. Each cast in a secret dungeon is this one. For you, Zeline, I grant thee neighbor's love, which will protect you from the harmful effects of your enemies. Nice! Found Zeline's hidden skill, Neighbor's Love. My final skill lies within the Sacred Realm. Okay! I actually anticipated ending up back at Zora's River for that. Um, not all the way over here. So, let's hit this thing because I know it teleports. Let's then make our way back to Zora's River, because I anticipated ending up back over there. That's why I put the debug cat there to do both things. Did not anticipate being all the way over there, for whatever reason. Granted, I did need to be there, though, um, because of the fact that... Whoa! That was... Alright, I guess that was my new sword. That was interesting. Um, but yes, when I talk to Debug Cat, it does give me the Anara option, or the Felonious option, which was what I anticipated. It was not what I ended up doing. I did not anticipate not being able to come back here. So, that's the thing. Dead. Also, suddenly I'm level 75, while Felonius is level 68. Alright then. Not sure why I suddenly leveled like five times. <laughs> Don't know. Not even sure why that teleportation thing is even there, to be honest. Oh my god. Just leave me the frick alone, you stupid Octoroks. 
Gotta admit, Link does some nice damage with the sword. Alright, here's what I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna debug. That should prevent the mobs from attacking me. It turns off the random encounters. That way. Should go get right over here. Out this way. And then now I can go up here to the Sacred Realm for Felonius and for the final bit. No idea what I'm doing at this point. I just know that I'm going into the Sacred Realm now. Back into the Temple of Time. Maybe. There it is. I was like, where's the temple? I found it. Whoa! It's just right here. Random. Okay. I guess that's why I couldn't figure it out by looking at the map. Because it just automatically teleports me here. Um. Okay. That's a bug. I found all my hidden dungeons and retrieved all my knowledge, save for one power. With great power comes great responsibility. Defeat my avatar and the ultimate skill shall be granted to thee. Avatar of the Great Fairy, huh? Alright, here we go. Sephiroth, really? We're doing Sephiroth music from Final Fantasy VII? What the heck? It's Seraphim! Well, I mean, it's not Sephiroth, I guess. It just randomly is Sephiroth's music for whatever reason. I don't get it. <laughs> It's not even the good Sephiroth theme, like it's the original Final Fantasy VII. You know? Which is a good track, but like... In any other game, it's not, because like the music, it like changes. Oh, I don't think I want to use Black Hole. I think Black Hole is like, stupid animation. But like... Um, I think I could try it to see. Um, but what am I trying to say? <laughs> this is so weird. It's the freaking Sephiroth. But like, the in Final Fantasy VII, okay, the like Sephiroth music it like changes during the battle, like depending on what's going on, and like. When you just play the track, it just it doesn't have the same effect that it does in the game, you know? And so it's like, see it's not even like it's not even like the greatest theme. Like, if you're gonna use a Sephiroth theme, you know? You can use a Sephiroth theme you know, straight without, you know, the music changing and stuff. You should use the Advent Children one, because first of all, the Advent Children one rocks. And second off, it's meant to just play straight through. <laughs> you know? I'd deal more damage to attacking since I've got the freaking Like, ultimate weapon. 7,000 damage! I deal just as much damage with my normal attack as I do anything else. Oh, yay. There's barrier. <coughs> some dice. I... I'm just gonna fight. So... I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Personally, I've never played Final Fantasy VII. I've just watched it. Like, I've watched the Sephiroth battle. I'm like, okay, you know, so the, like, depending on what Sephiroth does, is that changes the music and stuff, you know? It's pretty epic, actually. It's you know, very dynamic and epic, but it's, it doesn't work the way that it does in the game, 
when you know it's just meant to play and you know, when you just play this track straight it just doesn't work the same so resist aura well, maybe that's just my personal opinion I mean it is my personal opinion and I will stick by my personal opinion but I mean maybe that's just it maybe it's just my personal opinion Maybe somebody else is like, dude, Undying Nephilim used Sephiroth's theme here, that's amazing, you know? You know, I'm sitting here like, I don't understand Sephiroth's theme here. <laughs> Ice Storm, this is probably gonna hurt. I need, like, resist is what I need. So all of our stuff is, like, magic-based. Barrier's not really helping. Use the sharp stone. I probably should have healed up Link over there, but that's alright. I'll do that next round. He isn't taking that much damage just because of the fact that he's got barrier, so. Of course, I could be wrong. Could use solar flare and everybody dies. Nobody died, actually. That. Actually surprises me. <laughs> the prowess. More potion. I mean, I don't know. I just, I guess I just like the Advent Children version of Sephiroth's theme better. Maybe it's just me, but I just, I really prefer. Sephiroth theme from Final Fantasy uh, from Advent Children. So it's just really epic. <laughs> you know? So Plus it's just kinda awesome, like it's a rock type, you know, music and stuff. It's like awesome. Wow, I must be dizzy or something. The characters must all be dizzy. Uh, no, I need full person on Zelda. I could use some dispel herbs, but stuff usually goes away pretty quick. Can I just use some dispel herbs though? Yep, there it is. Also, it's really hard to have uh, any desire to use Dispel Herbs when the boss keeps using the move that, you know, is causing the problem in the first place. So, Dispel Herb. Come on, Dispel Herb. There you go. Oh, it doesn't give her the weak stat when you do that. That's obnoxious. At least I'm hitting now. That's what's important. Here's Solar Flare again. Now everybody's gonna be clumsy again. They're not clumsy, but dizzy. Yep, everybody's dizzy again. I really hate bosses that, like, their whole gimmick is statuses. <laughs> It's really obnoxious. Maybe that's just me. It, just, it feels really obnoxious. You know, I realized earlier, I really say the word obnoxious wrong. <laughs> I really do. I do not say obnoxious. I'm like, obnoxious? I say it with like an A. It's like, obnoxious. It's really obnoxious. I say a lot of things weird though. Like, I don't say spoon. I say spun. I need a spun. Everybody laughs. And you know, it's just like, I need a spoon. It's like, it's spoon, Serene. Not spun. I need a spun. <laughs> you know? 
don't know. I say things weird. So... How much health does this freaking boss have left? Oh my god. 50,000. Okay. That's, that's pretty manageable, actually. Might even be able to... Well, not this round, but... I'm not dealing 10,000, I'm just doing like 5,000. But I should be able to deal some nice damage. Oh! I'm not weak anymore. The link, that's good. Boop. Spirits within. Is that a Final Fantasy VII reference? Actually, it's not Final Fantasy VII, it's Final Fantasy Spirits Within. So... I mean, I think this whole thing is a freaking Final Fantasy reference. Freaking Sephiroth theme. Freaking Sephiroth outfit is apparently in the game, and I have it. Like, why? <laughs> Electric summons! Wow, it hasn't used that in quite some time now. So that's interesting. I'll just keep attacking. I think as long as it doesn't use that one big attack that like killed everybody. Hey, there we go. Never mind, because I just got killed a guy. Level up. <coughs> you have done well to defeat my avatar. In reward for proving your worth, I will now grant you the final skill, the ultimate power. This is not to be taken lightly. This knowledge will corrupt even the most holy of hearts. For you, Felonius, I grant thee supernova. Within the death of the sun, may you bring death to your enemies. Supernova! I found Felonius' hidden skill, supernova. Good luck. Hey, we got all the hidden skills. Not that I'm actually going to be keeping Felonius in my party, mind you. Thank you for putting Anara back in the party. Also, I need to run my debugger again, because Anara is vastly different level all of a sudden. That's weird. Now oh well. Whoops. I'm trying to use the wrong item. Full elixir, please. There you go. Alright. Now then. Well, apparently we're big, again. That's kind of odd. Uh, next up is the end of the game. <laughs> it's time to head, make our way off to Aslosis, finally. And uh, head to the Misery Mire so that we can take on the Goma. That said, um, we will do that in the next episode. Assuming I can remember how to get to Ezlosis. Was it this way? Ezlosis is from southwest of here, past Warden. Okay, so I just gotta go to the south. Um, but yeah, we will go ahead and handle Ezlosis in the next episode. Um, so I hope that you guys have been enjoying, and I'll see you all next time. See you later.